live from J.C. Love Field at Pat Patterson Park in Ruston, Louisiana, Cox Sports Television is proud to present Arkansas Razorbacks baseball. Today, the Arkansas Razorbacks and Louisiana Tech Bulldogs face off in game two of our three-game weekend series. Beat some weather. Hawks trying to beat the Bulldogs, and Robert Moore starts the game with the ball down the right field line. Moore's going to try for two. The throw from Netterville is in plenty of time to gun down Moore. A single, but an outfield assist. And the Bulldogs get the first down at second base. And that one flunked Goodhart. Free base runners was a part of last night's game. Troy Arkansas was out here 13. To Wallace smashes one into left to base. It got a hanging, breaking pitch. That's the second hit for the Razorbacks. And now that single that Moore was out trying to stretch to a double. Shot fair down the line and left. Goodhart is going to score. Wallace might have a chance to be waved in. Wallace to the plate, and he will score. And it's 2-0 Razorbacks on the Brady Slavens double down the left field line. It's our right-hander Zebulon Vermillion who's back in the rotation this week. Yeah, I feel like that Vermillion was kind of pacing himself his first couple starts, and I'm sure that Matt Hobbs and Dave Van Horn said, hey, you give us three, you give us three, just go out there and throw. At 353 on two bounces on the turf, right to battles. And Young retired to begin the bottom of the first inning. Pitched against Murray State in relief. And that one towards Slavens. That hop just about caused him problems when Wells is retired for out number two. Playing well, seeing the ball big and, and delivering just like that right there by Cullen Smith. Tenth hit of the year for Smith. Hits one off the logo in center field, and the Razorbacks have four hits already. Only played 11. Uh-oh. Cullen Smith erased. Good move by Jennings. Arkansas loses to another man on the bases. Lifting one to left. Gregory with room. Two bats. A couple of fly ball outs. And the Bulldogs filling up that strike zone so far in this outing. And a wave and a miss. How about two perfect innings? Yeah, really nice job by Vermillion. And Parker Carr in here, I think. Caden Wallace lifting one to left. Does he have enough? Goodbye. Back to back games. Caden Wallace plays long ball. And the Razorbacks have a 3-0 lead. You thought he might have had a chance. Again, that ball was lifted. It wasn't on a line drive. Wallace knew he hit it well. But I was sitting there watching Matui, the left fielder, and he goes back on that baseball, and he stops and plants. I think, okay, he's got it. He's making a mark for it, and he just ran out of room. Like him and Cops and Vermillion, some of those older guys. That might be into the gap, and it will take a bounce and kick up off the fence. Opitz is going to cruise into second base. The stand-up double. Well, I talked. Should be deep enough to score a run off the bat of Gregory. Bates camping underneath it, and the left fielder, Matulia, collide. The catch is made. Opitz scores. And those two guys had quite a collision in center field. I'm not sure what Matulia's even doing there. That's Bates' ball, and he's telling him that right now. He said, dude, here's where I'm at. absolutely crazy. He's trying to set up for a throw. Matulia never hears him. Yeah, the ball was completely oh. caught. I thought he when he was reaching into the glove is when... Second time through. That's a four-pitch walk after nine straight had been shut down. Can Moore get there? He cannot base it. Hunter Wells. Bulldogs in business in the fourth inning. Franklin circles underneath it. Young is going to tag. Franklin just plays it back in, and the dogs have runners on the corners. But Bates is retired for out number one. About baseball, maybe a screenplay, and my star is going to be Steel Netterville. And he's going to get himself an RBI here on a fielder's choice. Nice play at second base to get Wells and almost a chance to get two, but Young scores. He's trying to work on his game. That's going to be a base hit for Franklin. Good beginning for the Razorback fifth inning. He runs. Pitch is high. Throw down is online, but not in time. Franklin gets his third stolen base of the season. Off and running is Franklin again. That ball goes all the way to the screen, and Hasler has to play it off the netting, but 
Franklin with a turn and a look. That ball starting to carry to right field, and it's over the head of Netterville. So Slavens has his second double of the game and his third run batted in. Really in shallow right field. And Brantley walks. Hasn't had a lot of strikeouts today, just two. Double play bouncer to second. More to battles. On to first. Easy twin killing. 4-6-3 to finish the fifth. Boy, just with the doctor order for ZV. Here's battles. That's hard hit. That's fair, and it's into the corner. And Battles will have his first hit today, and it'll go for extra bases. The Hogs have been connecting on the doubles today. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And so I guess that's something you can't really worry about. Hey, Bob Moore back out there on the turf and what would be shallow right and retires Wells for round number two. That's club to right. Caden Wallace, though, nearing the fence by playing deep. He was able to just glide to his left and hold it in. Franklin, Tomahawks won in front of Matulia on about. Second hit for Christian. And a single to begin the seventh inning. A couple of late punches. That's going to be trouble. Ray will scoop and throw on the run. That's a nice play. That's why he's one of the better defenders in Conference USA. Nidaville's fielder's choice in the fourth is the lone RBI. Battle's got a little bit jumpy on that. And still gets him at first base. Boy, that just shows the arm strength of Jalen Battles. He threw that baseball flat he foot did. from deep. Shot up the middle. Off the foot of Griffin. And somehow that trickles between two infielders. Opitz is going to get the base hit. And let's hope Griffin is okay. That sounded loud after a bench. Hitting right-handed. And that is a walk to Smith. So a couple of Razorbacks on base in the eighth inning. And the bases are full of Razorbacks. And it kicks away from Hasler. And a free run as Opitz comes across with number six of the day. You just kind of felt like that that was going to be a pitch down in the dirt. Not close. Ball four. And the bases are loaded again for Matt Goodhart. Another one that hits the plate. Here comes Smith. That ball didn't get far away. But enough for Smith to score. Two runs this inning have come across on wild pitchers. That is an outstanding read by Cullen Smith. Hitters count for Goodhart. And they're loaded again. Another base hit from Caden Wallace. It's going to chase home one run. Here comes Franklin, and he is cut down at the plate. Nice strike from Bates. And the Racerbacks get three in the inning. Two-strike pitch. Soft flare to right, and that is a two-strike base hit. So that was one that Vermillion may have caught too much of the plate. Six major pulls. The ball's corked to left. Hit well. The ball's going to be played back in. It's just a single for Young. Hit to right, traveling right to Caden Wallace. That will end the inning. Couple of two out singles. The Bulldogs do not score. We go to the ninth. Cole Ramage is one of them. Dave Van Horn said he's throwing the baseball better than he ever has at Arkansas. Hit well to right center field. Franklin got a great break on that baseball, but should have been a double, was caught on the track. Here's another payoff. And Ramage. Wins the battle. Leach gives him the fist pump and a strikeout. I don't think it's a change. It's just that fastball's got a lot of sink to it. He didn't Hard have it there. Basic. Yeah, good job by Matulia. Got one up in the zone, and he handled it. Guys that haven't had a lot of at-bats in playing time. Chopper to Slavens. He'll flip to Ramage, and the Razorbacks have won all 12 games this year, and they run their winning streak to 16 games back to last season. Boy, this game was, the tone was set by Zebulon Vermillion on the mound. Arkansas scored first, and they just really took control this whole entire game, Brett.